Hi everybody, how's everyone doing? I'm Aiden from Lorna Dice, the Clacksmith Prince. And today, I'm excited because we're at 471 subscribers. What does that mean? Why is that such a special number? It's because we're almost at 500. And for that, I'm going to give away 5 sets of PPE and 5 sets of random dice that I've made. I don't know what kind of dice they'll be, I'm not going to say. It's just going to be a random pick for me. And PPE means we're going to have like respirators, we're going to have some gloves, we're going to have some arm shields, all that good stuff to keep you safe, not from COVID, but from, well, resin burns, all that, toxins. So I'm excited as well because I'm going to be working with a really big company, an amazing company as well, and they make dice. And I'm gonna. Oh. Oh, that's been there the entire time. Did you guys see that? I didn't see that. Oh. I guess I'm doing that now. Yeah, so I'm a Die Hard Dice affiliate now. I'm working with Die Hard Dice and making some videos for them. Uh, they'll be up on their website at dieharddice.com, so once they come up, they'll be on there. So make sure you go check it out. Keep an eye on it. I'll be getting some videos up on there. So. Um, thank you to Todd and Diana for believing in me, a 12 year old, to do a job that n the other people have like 100,000 subscribers, I have 471 and I'm doing what they're doing. And I just am so grateful that you gave me the offer, I gladly accepted. So I'm glad to be making dice with you. I'm glad to be working with you, so, um, now I've got everything out of the way, so let's get some dice. Dad, I need your help. Hello, I'm Aiden. I'm going to be making some dice now. So, I have both parts A and B. I'm not going to put them directly into there because that would not work as well. I actually haven't tried. Don't plan on it. So, I'm going to put them into here. Is this what you called me in here for? Yes. Okay. What are you making today? Um, just some normal dice. Got some mint green. Oh, that we got from Hobby Lobby? Yep. Okay. It's the new Brie Recent at Hobby Lobby Mix. Oh, that's right. Because they're helping. Good plan. So tell them what the lady told you today. So they told me that they, like, Hobby Lobby works with shipping and, like, maintaining work. Manufacturing? Yeah. So they're working together now with Brie Reese to make more alcohol inks. Because it was, like, rumored that Brie Reese had passed away. Or somehow gotten sick or something. Yeah. Because we couldn't find them. Yeah. They're pretty hard to find now. But we managed to find some more. And we keep all the stuff that we have right now. We try not to use too much at a time. So that's why we use a lot of our like resin dyes and the other alcohol inks that we have. Yeah. Because it's a little bit like it's hard to find. Well, hopefully it's getting better. You can find all of those at Hobby Lobby, so Yeah. They have like more colors now than before. Yep, the same that one. Yeah. Yeah. So you're using, you're going to reuse the Royal Mold again? Yep. Oh, man. We are on our 96th. I don't understand. I, d I do understand how good it's going. Yeah. I'm going to um, mix this up a bit. It's just so easy with that mold. I know yeah. you have a... It's an, super simple. I love it. You have another mold coming from another company that wanted you to test it? Yeah. So... Should That'll, I say the name? No. Okay. Let's test it first. Leave it and first give a, surprise. Give them an un, un, yeah. a, unbiased opinion. Yeah. But it'll be interesting to see what it is. It's, it's not the same style as this. Yeah. It's almost like a slab mold, whereas yeah. this is a pull apart. Kind of like our injection molding machine that we have. Yes. So do you like that royal mold system? Like, do you notice that the dice are all the same? Yeah, they're all the same. Like, they turn out great. Like, we haven't gotten warps in them. We haven't gotten bubbles. 
Hmm. Interesting. But yeah, it's like it's it's good looking too. Like it looks really good. Okay. I know we peel off the extra resin every once in a while. Yeah. So sometimes we have too much and we have already made like uh, like a dinosaur or whatever because we have those molds for when we have too much and So how much of that mint are you putting in? Uh, What's that called mint? Uh, mint green. Mint green. It does not have re-reese on it but Now the bottle is this it's a smaller bottle, but it actually has the same amount of fluid ounces. Yeah It's still 0.68 how many drops are you putting in? Two drops? Yeah. Two? Yeah. You know, if this was pink, you'd be putting in half that bottle. No. Yeah. More. Keep going. Yeah. Okay. So more pink, it. more power. Sure. Whatever you decide. Hey. You have one hand. I do have one hand. Yep. That's a good looking mint. I mean. Yeah. This is a different color from what we have because we haven't find, found a mint green that's a, that's like the normal bottle. Hmm. Alright, pour them in the dice. Let's go. No. You're going to put more in there? Go ahead and leave it in there. Okay. Yes, I have more to put in You're there. You're going to put more in there? I'm not putting more mint green. Oh, look at that. You got a little scooper. Yeah, so the reason I'm putting in some of this with some mint green is because if you look, there's like a green tint to it. Like that's the biggest tint that it has. Like that's the dominant color. And Dad and I decided that... There was no Dad and I. Well, I found it. But we both thought that, that would be cool. To have like a green with some of this. Because green is the dominant color in the foil. So... This is new to us. We haven't used this kind of alcohol ink before. It's probably still the same. But it looks really good. I would assume it's the same. Yeah. Same makeup, I imagine. So... Gotta put the lid on this. Make sure I'm cleaning up, because I still have a good amount of pot life left. Oh, I got some things for you, too, while you're doing that. Okay. Congratulations on being a Dice, Die Hard Dice affiliate. Thank you. Um, I didn't think I'd be here. Again, 12-year-old kid getting an offer from a giant company like that. Yeah? Yeah. So, wait, what are you doing now? I'm putting the resin into the mold. Okay. You've done this before. I know, but I mean, I I do it. You tell me what to do all the time. It's a different story than I'm just watching now. Bazinga. No? No. Okay. Well, I mean, what else is new while you're doing this? What else is new? Um, oh. I know you asked me if you could do a Patreon page, and I told you that it was up to you. Have you decided what your uh, rewards were going to be? Um, I'm pretty sure, like, I'm positive about, like, t-shirts, but okay. I'm still waiting for people to decide, like, what else. Gotcha. So, yeah. Okay, so I know you have dice. Yeah. T-shirts. Yeah, I'm pretty sure about, like... Buttons. Yeah. And I saw on your... Um, your right. board that you have a mystery box. Yeah. All right, Dad. Right? Well, done. Yeah. Okay. That is true. Okay. I'm not. I mean, you do. You have to pick which one you want to do. But now, why are you doing that? Because that way, we can have enough on here to make sure that it's on the face. And not going out of the mold, so we have a weird top face. Gotcha. I heard that air bubbles get trapped in the, the numbers yeah. when you go to put that on. 
Yeah. Is that, do you find that to be true? Um, I haven't had that happen to me yet, so either I'm pretty lucky or I'm doing something right and I don't know it yet. Well, I think it's because you're putting resin on the top. Some people don't, and that's yeah. how they get bubbles. So if you don't do this and you're getting bubbles, that might be the cause. Okay. So you might want to start doing that. It might seem like it would be a waste of resin, but it's really not. It helps a lot. Okay. Because I've been doing it, and I haven't been getting bubbles on the faces. Okay. So you're going to top off the rest of the mold, too, over there? Yeah. Well, first, I've got to pour some into the... Oh, well, I would top off first. Well, I still have to do that, but okay. Okay, I see what you're saying. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna make a T-Rex. You gonna make a T-Rex? I'm gonna make a T-Rex. Great. So tell people what you're doing, because you're not doing it on camera. Yeah, so I have, like, a bunch of, like, T-Rex molds, like, some dinosaur molds over here. Chocolate molds? Yeah. They're meant for, like, making stuff that's not dice, but we still use it. So, Dad, I need you to use the lighter, because I don't know how. Oh. And I need you to pop all these bubbles. And not like... Okay, well maybe don't do that in my face. To pop like all the surface bubbles. Because... You don't want to get into it though. Because it will light on fire. You have done it before. And... I have done it before. Yeah. Alright, looks good. Oh, yeah, I did it there. Go ahead. Nope. Other way. Other way. Goes the other way. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I... Oh. Now I have resin all over my hands, but I am wearing gloves, so that's good. You are wearing gloves. Yeah. So wipe that side and top. Yeah. Okay. Oh wow, that's wet. That's wet. <laughs> I don't even know what resin's made out of. Catalyst and hardener. Okay, so, I'm gonna need you to put this in the pressure pot. All right, so are you done? Yeah. All right. This is what we have. I have a popsicle stick that I didn't use. So this is, you're gonna have to wait and see how this turns out. How All do you right. think it's gonna turn out? I think it's gonna turn out really good. Yeah, I do I too. Mean, I got faith. So All you'll right. see everybody tomorrow and uh... I got some stuff to clean up here, so. Thank you all for watching. I'll be soon, tomorrow. So we'll see how cool these dice look. I'm sure they'll look amazing, so. Okay, so I have here the finished dice. I'm gonna start taking them out of the mold here. So I do wanna talk about how these dice, like the reason they're gonna be so good looking is because of like, when you're taking molds, like when you're taking dice, I like molds like this. You see this, and when you're taking them out, like normal, like you're pushing through, you're ripping the numbers and doing all that, and it leads to making, like having to make more of these molds because you're ripping them and you can't use ripped dice. Like you can't use ripped molds anymore. So, where this does is you don't rip the numbers. I can't get it out. You aren't ripping numbers like you are normally. And nice thing is that you're not going to be using more than one. Because this is our 96th set, and I don't see any wear and tear on this. I'm going to take the dice out real quick.
just to see how they look. Oh, they look awesome. Oh, they look so pretty. All right. All right, this is the D20. I'm gonna take these all out. I spilled quite a bit on this one, so it's a bit messy, a lot of flashing. So it's gonna be a little bit clean up, but not on the mold. The mold actually looks perfect. Yeah, this is our 96 set with it. What's this? And look at all these. They look awesome. So, I'm gonna need to do some cleanup on this. Quite a bit of it, but like, look at this. I think that looks pretty. It's hard to see. So like, yeah. It's got a little bit of a green tint and you can see like the foil. So yeah, it looks really good. Um, yeah, a lot of cleanup, but I don't have a problem with that. It's pretty simple. Yeah, take this off. This is the D6. Looks really nice. Oh, that's a good spot. Yeah. I think those look pretty good. If you're wondering what these scratches are from, we have cats at home. They're pretty mean. <laughs> so. Yeah, like, look at this. This one. Looks really good. They all have like a nice green tint to them, and they look really good, I will say. I feel like you can see the pink a lot better in this, and I don't know why that is, but they still look really nice. Yeah, so I'll provide some pictures at the end to show how amazing they look. Like, look at this. Barely any cleanup on the D20. Oh, looks so good. I love it. I love these. I love this set. This set's really cool. Alright, got the D12 here. Might be a bit of cleanup, but it looks pretty good. I like it. I really like this set. I think this set's pretty good. So, so I used quite a bit of resin on this and spilled, so that's why there's a lot of stuff on here. So we're going to try and make some sides that aren't like made out of whatever this is and probably made out of nylon so that the resin doesn't stick to it like it did but that's the only problem that I've had with the mold because it was partially my fault but like look at this this D percentile oh that looks good So good. So, yeah. A lot of cleanup. 
but still some really good looking dice. I love this mold. It hasn't shown any wear and tear at all, and it is still working properly. I'm going to have to do a big cleanup again on the mold, but not a ton. Like, there's some bit up, bits up here, but that'll be pretty easy to clean off. Some just, like, really small stuff here and there. So, like, there's no rips on this mold, but, like, when you take them out, it rips it, and that's not good, because it means that you won't be able to use it for much longer. And you go through these types really quickly. This one, um... I think it's awesome. You get we're on we're on our 96th set here. Like we have made so many sets with these. It's incredible. D20 looks amazing. All of them actually. Okay, dude, look at this. Wow. All right, so that's our 96 set with this. Let me find the D20 here. Like the 20. Where is it? There it is. Right, there's our 20. So, I'm going to show some pictures. I'm going to take some pictures of these real quick. And you will see them shortly. I'll be working on some cleanup as well. But it's going to be really simple. So, thank you all. For watching this. Um, I'll see you next time.